Hello, my name is Autumn. I am from Autumn Makers Mini Pet Pigs. Today I want to talk about the pros and cons of having a pig as a pet. Okay, now these are my observations from my relationships with my pigs. I'm sure there are plenty more from other people, so um, these are just my thoughts. I'm going to start with the pros, okay? So the first pro is that pigs are super smart. It's amazing how smart they are. They're like the fourth most intelligent creature on the planet that we know of. So it's pretty amazing um, how smart they are. You know, they're likened to a three-year-old toddler in what they know and what they can do. That's pretty amazing. <clears throat> because they're so smart, they're easy to train. Pigs will do anything for food. They're extremely food-driven. They will listen for food. They will, you can distract them with food from doing other thing, things that they shouldn't. So um, they're super easy to train. Pigs are also very affectionate just by nature. They love to cuddle, they love to pile up, they love to be in blankets. So that is something, especially if you get your piglet from somebody who um, really socializes, not socializes, but really socializes their piglets, then they, they love to be held and cuddled, which is awesome. Um, another thing is that pigs are hypoallergenic. So um, if you can't have a dog, you can't have a cat, you can't have a gerbil or a hamster or anything like that, but most of the time you can have a pig. Um, pigs do not shed. Um, they do not have a fur like a cat or a dog. They have more like a hair, which is like a bristly, um, bristly hair. Now, and they don't shed that hair, maybe a few strands here and there, but they do blow their coat once or twice a year. I've heard of it being more than that, but um, all pigs are different. I have one pig that loses all his hair when he blows his coat within like a day or two. It's crazy, it's weird and freaky. It all comes out at once, but then he has a beautiful short coat underneath. Um, then I have some girls who um, they take a week or two or even three to blow their whole coat. And mine usually blow theirs the beginning of summer, when those first couple really hot days. Um, that's usually when mine I notice mine start to lose them. Also, um, pigs do not have to go to the vet a lot um, as long as they're healthy and not hurt. They only have to go once a year. So they get their vaccines. Um, they get their hooves trimmed, they get their uh, tusk, tusks trimmed, and it's usually a quick visit as long as you have a really good, really knowledgeable vet about pigs. Um, also, pigs do not have a short lifespan. They have a pretty long lifespan. They can live 15 to 20 years. Um, so you do need to think about that. That could be a con, you know. I mean, if you get one when you're young, and you know, think about how many times your life is gonna change in the next 20 years. Can you take your pet pig with you? That is the question. That should be your determining factor, or one of them. Pigs are very routine-oriented animals. My pigs, I swear they can tell time because they know when it's time to eat, even before I do. If I hear a ruckus outside, I look at the clock, yep, four o'clock, it's time for them to eat. Um, which is a really great thing for me because I am a routine person. Um, I get up at the same time, I do the same things ev every day pretty much. Um, so it helps me because Topanga knows what I'm going to do before I even do it. I love pigs. I mean, I could list pro after pro. Um, I love them. They're funny. They're fun. I love to play with my pigs. I love to watch my pigs. Um, it's, it's what I enjoy probably one of the things I enjoy most out of life. But there are cons, and a pet pig is not for everybody. I am the first to admit that. And I, I like to talk to people to make sure that it is a good fit for them. So let's talk about some cons. My first pro is that pigs are smart. My first con is that pigs can be too smart. Pigs know, and, and because they're extremely food driven, they know if there's food behind your cabinets, they know there's food in the refrigerator, they know there's food in the pantry, they know that when you sit down with the plate that you have food. So you have to be really careful how you proceed with that. Um, in our house, we keep all of our food in the pantry and we keep it up. Um, it's only on the top four shelves, not on the bottom two because Topanga can reach them and she has gotten potatoes, um, bags of chips, and things like that. So now we're very careful we keep that food up high. I've heard of pigs opening cabinets, I've heard of pigs opening refrigerators and eating tons of food out of it. So you have to know these things before you decide to get a pig. Um, 
Also, pigs need activities. You know, if, if they're not a lazy pig and they're real busy like Topanga is, we give her things to do all day. Um, whether it's Cheerios, treat balls, whimsies, um, big blankets to root around in, no matter what it is, you have to keep your pig busy because if they get bored, they can be extremely destructive. I've heard of pigs eating through drywall, rooting up hardwood flooring, rooting up linoleum flooring, destroying couches, destroying mattresses, you name it, they can destroy it if you give them that opportunity, okay? We do not give our pigs that opportunity. We keep them busy, we keep our eyes on them at all times. Pigs can also, they have that um, inborn need to root. And so that means that your yards can be rooted up, that means that your flower beds can be rooted up and eaten, everything can be eaten out of your flower beds. So you need to know that and you also need to with pigs, it's huge. You have to set boundaries, and I'll talk about that in another video. Pigs are also susceptible to heat. Um, if it's a really hot day, they have to be able to get out of that heat or cool off in some way, whether it's a little kiddie pool or a, a, um, a little pond you know, to wallow in or a mud hole, whatever it is, they have to be able to cool off. Pigs are also very susceptible to heat. I mean, heat, I just said heat. Stress. Stress. So if you think, if you're thinking to yourself, you know, I could get a pet pig and if it doesn't work out, I can just rehome it. It is not a good idea. Pigs get stressed out when they're rehomed. They get very sad and depressed. They feel unloved. They, they actually do have emotion. So it's important to think about these things before you get a pig. Rehoming is not a good idea. It's always best to work it out. Figure it out and work it out learn before you get one. Also, a big con about pigs is they have a herd mentality. You know, pigs are herd animals. So in a herd, there is a hierarchy. There's someone first, second, third, fourth, fifth, all the way down the line. And every pig has to know where they fit into that. And as pigs get older, um, meaning from a, a young piglet, and they're about a year old, then they start testing. They have to test where they fit into that herd, okay? Now, if your pig lives in the house with you and your kids and your dog and your husband and your, your mom or your grandma, that pig is going to test every single person in that household, okay? And it's probably gonna start with the dog or the kids because those are easy, those look like easy prey, okay? So you have to be on it, you have to be watching your pig, and you have to teach all of your family members how to keep that pig in bottom, in the bottom of that hierarchy. Talk about that lots in other videos. Um, because of that herd mentality, like I said, pigs can bully kids. You really have to watch your little kids. I really don't think that a pig is a good fit in a home with like a new baby. Um, you, you just you really have to be careful because pigs are strong and they're smart and they're gonna wanna push everybody around. So you have to know how to deal with that before it happens so that you don't cause a worse situation. Pigs are prey animals. So again, you have to watch them with your dogs. A dog is a predator. So I always, always suggest people always have supervision between the two when they're when they're together always be supervised um, because pigs are similar to a three-year-old toddler you have to really watch them you're gonna have to wait a second okay I'm almost done um, three-year-old think about a three-year-old for 20 years it's exhausting but it's the truth that's really how pigs are um, Another con is that a vet, a good vet can be really hard to find. So it's important to find that first. Another con is that pigs love to chew on things. Buttons, shoelaces, rugs, blankets, shirts, paper, school books, backpacks. Girls, watch your purses on the floor because many a lip gloss has been taken out of my purse and chewed and spilled all over the place. So you really have to watch. And a sanitizer, yes. Um, a, pigs need a lot of time and attention. They just do, especially in the beginning. You're gonna need that time with them to bond. 
to establish that you are the boss and they're also gonna need to be trained. You need to train them, you need to set up a routine with them and you need to stick with it. Rules are the biggest thing, rules. Set boundaries, enforce the rules, always keep them at the bottom of the totem pole. Those are like my top tips for having a pet pig. So thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me. Um, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Autumn Acres Mini Pet Pigs, um, and see lots more pictures and videos of our babies and our adults and how we interact with them. All right, thanks again for watching and please subscribe.